Angela here. Let's read Jennifer's letter. Jennifer writes, Hi Angela, I love your blog. Thank you, Jennifer. She continues, My husband and I just found out we are expecting our first. Congratulations. Back to the letter. Our favorite boy name for many years has been Elliot. She spells it with two T's. E L L I O T T. Back to the letter. Only when researching the name recently did I find out it is gaining popularity as a girl's name. I would love to see a post about Elliot and names like it that are traditional male names starting to become girl names. I would hate to choose a name and then have it go the way of Ashley or Leslie. We aren't against giving our son a unisex name, but want to know if the name is going to be all girl in 30 years. It's hard for me to see the appeal of Elliot on a girl. To me, it is all boy and would be like naming a daughter Timothy. I can't be the only reader caught up in this dilemma. Cheers, Jennifer. Well, thank you for your letter, Jennifer. And I agree with you. I don't think you're the only reader caught up in this dilemma. And I also agree that Elliot is all boy. That's my opinion, of course, and my opinion is based on memories of the boy Elliot in the movie E.T., the older brother of Gertie, the character played by Drew Barrymore. But I can see how some people might picture it as a girl's name for two reasons. First of all, there's the obvious path to the nickname Ellie which is a popular nickname for other popular names such as Ella, Eleanor, and Eloise. In addition to that, there's the T ending, which it shares with Scarlett and Charlotte, also stylish names at the moment. However, despite that, my gut is telling me that because Elliot has a solid history as a boy's name, it will always remain at least partially imaginable on a boy. But I don't want to steer you wrong. So I'm going to test my hypothesis. First, let's get the subject of spelling out of the way. Elliot, with two T's the way Jennifer was spelling it, has never reached the top 1,000 for girls but I know one of the spellings has hit the top 1,000. I even wrote about it before. Elliot with one T has hit the girls' top 1,000. For simplicity, I'm going to check the stats for the single T spelling and compare those to the stats of other traditionally male names that have been used on girls. But before we do that, let's see how close the double T spelling has to hitting the top 1,000, and how popular both spellings are on both genders. You can see that both spellings were still a lot more popular on boys than girls in 2012. The most recent year, baby name statistics are available from the U.S. Social Security Administration when I recorded this. However, the spelling with two T's was almost as popular as the spelling with one T on girls. There were 236 newborn girls named Elliot with two T's in 2012, which places it just outside the top 1,000. The single T version has already hit the top 1,000 with 307 births. The two takeaways here are, one, the combined popularity of Elliot with one T plus Elliot with two T's is almost double the popularity of each spelling individually. This means both names may seem more popular than their rankings suggest. Number two, for the moment, there are about five times as many boys as girls with both spellings. Compounding the problem are other spellings. A 
For the sake of simplicity, I am not going to add all of those other spelling variations since their birth numbers are small and at the moment insignificant. Regardless of spelling, Elliot is clearly a stylish name. The question is, how likely is any spelling to keep its predominantly masculine style? Here is Elliot's popularity on boys and girls from 1880 to 2012. The name first hit the girls' top 1,000 in 2011, which is represented by the little pink speck to the right of the chart. As far as the name's historic popularity on boys, it has never been terribly popular, but has been consistently in the boys' top 1,000 for almost a century. The question is, is Elliot's history on boys strong enough to keep it imaginable on boys, or will the name get traded to Team Pink? There are three types of boys' names used on girls. Number one, there are the names that have become mostly feminine, such as Addison, Ashley, and Aubrey. Two, there are names that are unisex, which in most cases means they're slightly more imaginable on girls, but are not completely out of the question on boys, such as Avery, Jordan, and Morgan. And number three, there are mostly masculine names, such as Jason and Michael. Yes, even Jason and Michael were used on a few girls during the height of their popularity on boys. All of these names have hit the top 1,000 for both genders at some point since 1880. Let's see how Elliot compares with these names. First, let's start with the names that are now considered mostly feminine. Addison is a name that was never terribly popular on boys, but looked like it was about to make a comeback on boys in the 90s. As recently as 2009, Addison was still in the boys' top 1,000, until it left those ranks the following year. For girls, however, Addison is now a mega-hit name, ranking in the top 15. When comparing Elliot's popularity to Addison's, I see one major difference between the two. Elliot has spent a lot more time in the boys' top 1,000. Let's see how Elliot compares with other strongly feminine crossover names. Ashley's past popularity on boys was similar to Addison's from the previous slide. Both names were never terribly common with boys, but appeared to be making a comeback for boys until the girls took over. This is in contrast to Elliot, which has been consistently in the boys' top 1,000 for almost a century. This suggests that the name most likely to go girl is the one that has the more dramatic shifts in popularity. Names that have left and re-entered the top 1,000. This is encouraging for anyone who prefers Elliot on a boy. The story with Aubrey, however, is a little different, and for those who like Elliot for boys, a little less encouraging. Until Aubrey became known as a girl's name, it had consistently charted on boys and may have never reached the top 200, but at one time was actually more popular on boys than Elliot. One thing to note. Aubrey's complete transition to Team Pink took at least a generation. Aubrey has been a top 1,000 girl name since the 70s. It first entered the girls' top 1,000 in 1973 at 883. Aubrey's 1973 girl rank is very close to Elliot's girl rank when it first entered the top 1,000 nearly 40 years later. However, while we only have two years of girl rankings for Elliot, based on those two years so far, it has not risen as quickly as Aubrey Rose in the 70s. So the results 
are a mixed bag. Based on the pasts of other names that have gone almost completely to the girls, it appears as though Elliot could go either way. But if Elliot does go girl, it will probably take about a generation. To get a better idea of Elliot's future, I am going to examine Elliot's past with the pasts of other names that have been used on girls but have not gone completely to the girls. Names that have either become unisex or stayed mostly male. That's part two. Stay tuned for that. And if you enjoyed this video, please share this with your friends. Thank you so much for joining me.